energy is the engine of the economic growth. So, in fact, energy is a very good thing. It makes our life uh, better. It brings economic growth, modern lives. But we, our problem is not with energy, but with the uh, emissions. So, therefore, we would like to see an energy system globally where the economy still grows, but the emissions decline. And there are a few countries who were able to realize this, and uh, uh, many of them are in the uh, Nordic part of uh, Europe. They are an excellent example and provide inspiration to the uh, rest of the world. Energy efficiency has, is mentioned as the most important tool for reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And that also means that it is the most efficient and most cost-effective tool for decoupling. Second reason is, uh, second and also a very important tool, is that it has been possible to uh, convert uh, a lot of the electricity production, which was earlier on based on fossil fuels, on coal, on oil, or on natural gas, and it has been converted to CO2-free uh, production of uh, based on winds, or on solar, or CO2 neutral production based on biomass. Well, one of the uh, most important was to have a, a very concrete target. The second is to have market-based technology neutral measures, like a carbon dioxide tax, like a, a support scheme, certificate scheme for renewables, and that has, has, we, that has made, us, made it possible for us to, to decouple uh, economic growth from, from uh, uh, emissions. Just go around and tell the world that this can be done. We have to use energy much more efficiently than we are using now, and uh, this will also help to reduce the energy consumption in general. So these are the two main policies which could help us to uh, see a decoupling, as our Nordic colleagues say, and a divorce, as the IESA, uh, between the economic growth and emissions. Mm -hmm.